Hello and welcome back to Witchy Woo Tarot. My name is Chris and this reading is for the general collective of Virgo. It won't be for everyone watching, but if it resonates with you, please let me know in the comments. And if not, be sure to check your moon, rising, and Venus signs for messages you need to hear. And remember, time, energy, and gender are fluid. Feel free to reverse roles however you see fit. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe to the channel, and tap the notification bell so you don't miss future readings. So thank you so much to my new and returning subscribers. I love your energy. I love your comments. Please keep connecting with me. And if you haven't already, check out my links in the description box below. And so, yeah, it's Pisces season. I'm so excited because we are going to dive deep with the tarot of mermaids, as well as all the mermaid oracle decks that I have. And since Pisces is ruled by Neptune and um, is the dreamy, whimsical zodiac sign, I figured to be appropriate. Also, it is the last sign on the zodiological wheel, which means I am approaching my year anniversary on YouTube. So thank you so much to everyone who has been with me on this wild ride. I appreciate you. Um, and so, yeah, let's go ahead and get the energy of your person. First, we're going to be diving in with the messages of the mermaids oracle deck. I will be giving away a copy of this deck at the end of the season. So be sure to, like I said, subscribe to the channel for chances to win each month. And so, like I said earlier too, just take what resonates for you. Don't force the storyline to fit. This could be about you, about your person, about both of you, or it could be about the cross watcher. So we have a waiting. So you or your person, there is a waiting energy here, okay? Maybe you're waiting for loose ends to be tied up, waiting for some sort of ending, waiting on communication. Um, there's just this big question mark there, right? And so as you can see, she's looking off into the distance, but she also looks kind of peaceful at the same time, okay? And so I kind of feel like whatever it is you're waiting on, this could be your message um, from spirit to just kind of appreciate the journey and um, don't allow yourself to get frustrated by what you can't see or what's not materializing in front of you just yet. So let's see what's going on with the tarot of the mermaids and find out what's going on in this person's conscious thoughts or what they are aware of when it comes to you as well as their subconscious thoughts their feelings and what is driving them subconsciously so we already have the tower Virgo <laughs> my goodness and so this angle with the lighting it doesn't really seem to be the best. I'm going to see if maybe I can. Oh, that's much better. Okay, so Virgo, let's also see, like I said, what's going on subconsciously with this person. What are they thinking and feeling or becoming aware of? Or what is the energy that is subconsciously driving this person? So we have one so far. We've got the two of wands. And let's see if we can get something else. Anything else to, oh my God. So we just had a bunch of cards pop out. I'm gonna go ahead and put them back and shuffle one more time. There we go. So we've got one. So the two and the five of wands. Interesting. So Virgo, I'm sensing some conflict between you and this person. Um, what is their ultimate desired outcome? Anything else for the desired outcome of this person? Okay, so, so we have the Queen of Cups the Ten of Wands and the Page of Cups. So, yeah. So Virgo, I really feel like this person wants to be, wants you to acknowledge them. Um, and so let's see in the recent past what's going on here because I think maybe this could be your person waiting 
But in the recent past with the Six of Swords, I feel like this person is focused on moving away from any conflict with you and healing. Okay, so perhaps there was some energy in the past between you and this person, miscommunications, um, just like... I don't know, I just feel like this petty energy almost, or like mind games even. And so maybe there was some sort of like uh, manipulation that happened or some sort of like narcissistic behavior that perhaps caused this person to to want to get away, okay? And so basically I'm seeing this person walking away and healing, focusing on um, their emotional well-being. And this could be in any form, okay? They could be talking to friends um, or just in general like I said trying to get away from any sort of toxic energy that existed between the two of you and so in their conscious awareness we have the nine of cups the tower and the ace of pentacles so I almost feel like this person is they know that they could have a happy ending with you they know that you are their wish fulfillment they are aware that um, this could also be them becoming aware that maybe they wished for something that they thought they wanted and then it didn't turn out to be what they what they thought and so that's that be careful what you wish for type energy as you can see the water is overflowing um, which yes like we want all of the cups filled right but we don't want to be drowning and so um, with the tower coming in after that and then the ace of Pentacles I just kind of feel like this person has had some really um, shocking realizations perhaps about their connection with you um, this could be <clears throat> you know separation um, tower moments happening in general to kind of make this person see where um, where perhaps this offer of stability that they've been trying to manifest could have potentially been unrealistic okay um, maybe there wasn't enough uh, solid foundation in order to actually build upon with this person and so maybe this person was wishing and wishing and hoping for this um, and waiting for it and then you know something happens to to kind of separate you and this person and so now um, I think like I said they're they're consciously focused on this ace of Pentacles this new beginning and this could be uh, a proposal even it's like this person's waiting for you to come in and offer them something um, and let them know that you want to build something stable because whatever was happening between the two of you before was not that Okay, and so that is what they're thinking about and perhaps trying to manifest. And so with their subconscious thoughts, <clears throat> it's like they're subconsciously planning um, on how to make this work. They really want to take action in your direction. But like I said, there's been some level of conflict. And I think this person is worried about having to compete for your affection. Five of Wands can be um, arguments as well. But I see this as a card of having options, like needing to compete for someone. And so since there's a lot of Wands energy and a lot of passion going on here, I think deep down this person on a sub level is really trying to plan how this is going to realistically work. Um, considering as there may be some need to kind of fight for you Virgo and so goodness I feel like this person's been waiting for you but they also feel like they are the ones that need to be fighting for you I think this person's very conflicted and so their desired outcome being the Queen of Cups I really feel like this person is wanting to, um, like I said, they want to be acknowledged. They want you, Virgo, to let them know, like, hey, you're my one true love. Like, you're the person that I see, um, like, spending my life with, having children with. This person is waiting for this burden, okay, to be dropped. I think this person's been carrying a lot of burden. And, and you know, <clears throat> with this treasure chest being filled with what looks like ramen noodles or Justin Timberlake's old hair, I think that perhaps maybe this person, there's that element of working so hard, again, like really, really wanting something, waiting for it, persevering for it, carrying the burdens of this connection to then find out at the end of the day that it wasn't really what it was chalked up to be. It's not what this person expected. And so with the Page of Cups, I think at this point, all this person really wants is an apology, perhaps, Virgo. I think this person wants either you 
either this person feels like you owe them an apology or they just want to apologize to you perhaps okay because maybe this this person at the end of the day Virgo uh, cancer Pisces Scorpio energy this is someone who is a healer an empath someone who loves unconditionally okay Queen of Cups doesn't chase either. And so maybe this person could have chased you in the past, Virgo, or like I said, been really hoping for and wishing for this connection, really trying to manifest it. Um, but overall, whatever tower moment this was that separated the two of you, I feel like that's what taught this person about who they truly are, okay? It taught this person to value themselves and to love themselves and to understand the need um, to not have to chase someone down for their love, okay? So Virgo, maybe this person was like chasing you down for your love and now they're starting to realize like they don't need your love. No offense, like they don't need anyone's love. They need themselves um, and they need to love themselves. And so with this energy of carrying burdens and dropping the burdens and ending a cycle, uh, I strongly feel as if this person, again, roll reverse however you wish, there's an apology that's needed, um, some sort of simple message of love. Um, and this also could be an acknowledgement of perhaps the unrealistic expectations maybe that were placed upon this connection to be, okay? And so Virgo, you could also be waiting um, to talk to this person or communicate with this person or there could have been a reason why this separation occurred that is unbeknownst to this person but better believe it Virgo they're still manifesting it subconsciously okay so even though they're realizing where perhaps they um, they had unrealistic expectations of you maybe or of the connection and the potential of the connection they're starting to see, like I said, where it actually was meant to teach them their own value and the fact that they didn't actually need you, Virgo, the person, the flesh suit. They needed someone who was going to mirror to them and show them and and allow them to see where their own value and their own worth was was the only thing that was needed at the end of the day, okay? And so whether or not this person intends to move things forward with you, um, I'm not quite sure, but the Page of Cups does signify a new romantic beginning. So I do think it's possible. But like I said, there's some level of healing that needed to happen for this person that's already happened. And as they move forward and they have these conscious realizations and they start to dig deep into into the whys of maybe why they were feeling that that intense like pull towards you I think they're like I said they're coming into their own they're starting to recognize their true power and and the purpose for this whole connection um, and starting to drop the burdens of what they uh, perhaps were expecting of you um, or vice versa so let's get some advice from the Oracle of the Mermaids and see what spirit has to say about this connection. Okay, so what do we have for the sign of Virgo, please? Okay, we have farewell to the moon. Anything else? And soul cage. So so appreciate and enjoy the lunar lights and cycles. So when I see farewell to the moon, I think of like someone abandoning their, like abandoning their emotions in a sense, or like removing the mask and revealing their emotions, um, appreciating their, the feelings and the tides as they come and not really worrying about any outcomes. Um, and maybe this is this person kind of saying goodbye to hiding how they truly feel and really more acknowledging those deeper subconscious emotions when it comes to you, Virgo. And so um, also with Soul Cage, rescue, escape from captivity and restriction. So, you know, I see this as the energy of of like someone who is asleep and someone who is awake, right? The conscious and the subconscious. And so Virgo, perhaps this tower moment came between you and your person because there was some level of <clears throat> of maybe like unavailability, okay? And so whether you or this person were maybe in another relationship or you felt maybe trapped in another connection, um, 
it signifies that soul connection, that need to kind of meet that person and, and truly connect with your soul. And so perhaps, like I said, you coming along for this person was their rescue also um, to show them that, like I said, they only needed themselves, they only needed to love themselves, that they didn't need validation from anyone external. Um, and so Virgo, let's get some also messages from the C Melodies. And see what spirit has to say there. One's on the floor. Okay, so let's see what we have on the floor. Okay, so we have turbulence. It reminds me of the tower. So the mind is murky in rough waters. So we also have murky waters here. And so perhaps there's been a lot of these tower moments for you and this person where, again, there's been mind games. Um, you know, things really haven't been made clear between you and this person. And so I think this is Spirit's way of kind of saying like, it's too soon to draw conclusions, okay? It's too soon to draw conclusions about this connection because not everything has been revealed. And so we also have, oh, we've got several. We have listen. The secrets of the sea become apparent when we listen to the sound within the shells. So just allowing yourself, as I said earlier with that waiting energy, allowing yourself to appreciate the, the waiting energy, appreciate the tides as they come and not worry about what's on the other end. Um, this is just allowing yourself to be still and take in any sort of information or experiences and not needing to, to listen to respond, right? Um, just allowing yourself to be still and appreciate what is unfolding. We also have ambition set your sights beyond the horizon so whether that's a message for you or for your person i kind of feel like um, maybe some ambition is needed here maybe there's some level of of needing to reach some some goals um, and again maybe that could be like ascending spiritually in your journey just taking the initiative and finding something that pushes you and propels you forward in that stage of waiting okay and then also uh, let's go back to set your sights beyond the horizon. And what did we say? She was over here looking off at the horizon um, and, and she's peaceful because I think that's exactly what she's doing. It's almost like this person is done waiting Virgo and they're just kind of like looking out now at beyond all of this and seeing what else is out there. So we also have perseverance, stay the course. So... <clears throat> the whole element of waiting and and like staying true to the course and to the journey and and going through all of the turbulence and the tower moments and having all of these crazy amazing breakthroughs and realizations i really think that this person has has persevered quite a lot in this connection and so uh let's go ahead and see what the musical message energy is for your person virgo Okay, and oh my goodness, so, <clears throat> alright, we're done here. I've got one all the way over here across the floor. Okay, so we've got from this moment on, you're the reason I believe in love and you're the answer to my prayers from up above. All we need is just the two of us. My dreams came true because of you, Shania Twain. So, <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> and so I think that, like I said, this person, from the minute that they, they met you and from now until forever, I think that this person knows that you're the one for them, which is why they've been waiting, which is why they've been so patient. Um, I will always love you. Um, and again, there's this element of no matter what's happened, this person still has love for you, Virgo. I hope life treats you kind, and I hope you have all you've dreamed of. And I'm wishing you joy and happiness, but above all this, I wish you love by Dolly Parton. So, um, 
you know, even in times of separation, this person is wishing the best for you, Virgo. They are, they're hoping that you're happy. They are hoping that you're getting everything that you've wished for. Um, and then also we have All of Me by John Legend. Give your all to me, I'll give my all to you. You're my end and my beginning. Even when I lose, I'm winning. So they definitely want this exchange of energy with you. They want you to give them your all, just like they've been giving you. <clears throat> We also have two Scorpion songs in a row. So we have Still Loving You. Your pride has built a wall so strong that I can't get through. Is there really no chance to start once again? And so <clears throat> with that energy coming in, I feel like there's also, like I said, going back to that conflict, perhaps with the mind games and the, the little like... <clears throat> little nuances and things that happen between the two of you there could be this element of like not wanting to go back like it was almost toxic um but this person still loves you this person still wants to build and and start over and so when you came into my life you make me dream by the look in your eyes you give me the feel i've been longing for i want to give you my soul all my life because you're the one I've been waiting for. I've been waiting for so long. So waiting, 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 waiting. This is all just like a big waiting game. But I feel like Virgo, if you're the person that's making this person wait, I feel like they're going to wait forever, okay? And so whether they physically wait around on you, that is is everyone's story but on some level and again I think most likely it's subconsciously this person is still making plans for the future when it comes to you um, and they are planning on dealing with this conflict directly but it's going to require some level of like I said an apology or or some level of acknowledgement of this connection um, but until then, Virgo, they will still be loving you. So I hope that this resonated for someone, anyone. Um, also, again, please don't forget to like this video. Uh, comment down below if this was your story. And check me out in the description box below for all of my links to social media. Um, other than that, Virgo, I hope you have a wonderful rest of Pisces season. I love you so much, and I will see you soon. Bye.